KY3 and KSBR News starts now. Good evening. A warning from MoDOT and the Highway Patrol to stay off the roads across many parts of Missouri. Snow and paralyzing ice. Hundreds of crashes, including this one near Fordland. At least two semis flipped over on Highway 60. One of them carrying milk, which spilled out onto the pavement. About 50 people were stranded in numerous light-offs there on Highway 54. What a mess. That's between Eugene and Eldon in Miller County. We're told most of the wrecks have been cleaned up since then. And near Kansas City, a 15-vehicle pileup killed at least one person and shut down a stretch of Interstate 70 near Concordia. As you can see several semis involved in that terrible crash. The snow and ice also affecting drivers on Interstate 44. This is a live look of the slippery interstate near Waynesville from a Highway Department traffic camera. We have team coverage of this latest round of wintry weather. Taylor Frost and meteorologist Matt Jones will join us in a moment with a look at road conditions. But first tonight, we join Chief Meteorologist Ron Hurst with a look at the radar and just how much snow could still fall in some areas. Ron? Well, guys, we've had several inches of snow. In fact, up to four and five inches of snow has fallen across these northern counties up in here. And it's still possible that in this part of our viewing area right over in here, we still could see another one to two inches of snow before the storm finally lets up. All of this is in the form of snow up in here. But once you get down in here, it's depicted as snow. Uh, but it is coming down in a little bit of snow and a little bit of sleet, too. So we'll have to watch it because that is making conditions very icy across the Ozarks. Of course, these northern roads, including 54, Highway 5, chunks of I-44 and Highway 63 are all very treacherous this afternoon. And folks are definitely going to have to slow it down. You can see there are some bands where the snow is still coming down at a pretty good clip. Here's the time lapse through the afternoon. The storm continues to move very slowly west to east, and this will all taper off to a little bit of freezing drizzle for a couple of hours this evening. That'll also make things very hazardous, but it should all come to an end sometime around midnight tonight. This is our camera up in Lebanon where it is snowing, but it is also foggy, reducing visibilities, and that in itself is going to cause a little bit of a problem tonight. Winter weather advisories remain in effect in some places through midnight uh, tonight, so be very careful. Slow it down. We have a little more winter weather on the way for Saturday night. I'll be back to talk about that in just a few minutes. Steve? All right, thanks, Ron. This is a MoDOT's latest traveler map. It is a mess. Most major highways and interstates completely covered at news time. And take a look at this. It's indicated by the purple color. That includes I-44 from Lebanon and Laclede County all the way up toward uh, St. Louis through Rolla, where we understand traffic is backing up. Our team coverage continues with Taylor Frost, who joins us live tonight from Lebanon. And look at how traffic is moving on I-44 there. Taylor? Steve, there are a few inches of snow already on the ground. Earlier today, ice was falling as we were coming up here, but as you can see, it's all transitioned to snow tonight. And as we were driving from Springfield to Lebanon along I-44, we had to take it slow. We drove around 45 miles an hour the entire way, and as darkness falls, road conditions are only getting worse. We saw a few minor accidents along the side of the road, tow trucks helping cars along snow-packed side roads. I talked to a couple of people as they were filling up with gas. This is their message to drivers. Oh, I don't know. This is my first time in the state, so, you know, I don't know. I, don't know. I guess I should be used to it, but they're not. Then drive slow. Just be careful. It better be worthwhile to get on the roads tonight. Now, the Lebanon Rural Fire Protection District posted on Facebook a little bit ago saying that road conditions aren't the best right now. They recommend staying off the roads. And I talked to the Lebanon Fire, uh, excuse me, the Lebanon Police Department, and they tell me they've already responded to four accidents due to this weather tonight. Reporting live in Lebanon, I'm Taylor Frost. Also, Mona telling us that Highway 54 we just showed you closed west of Eldeman right now. Now, roads in and around Springfield are slick, too. Several evening uh, flights at Springfield Branson National Airport canceled. And Matt Jones has a look at uh, street conditions around town. Matt, what's out there? Uh, we've seen a, a huge variety of conditions depending on where you travel in Springfield. We drove south on uh, Sunshine. Actually, we drove south on Glenstone, rather, towards Sunshine, and the roads down in that part of town were just wet with a few slushy patches. Now we're north here on Chestnut Expressway, and it's quite a difference. We have quite a bit of slush, and it's all freezing on contact. Uh, there's the intersection right now of Boonville and Kansas, uh, Chestnut Expressway, rather, and you can see how things are very slushy and very snow-packed, and even the main roads that were okay earlier have really 
ice over quite a bit. We're actually in a parking lot right now, so of course this area has not been treated as much. But I want to show you this wintry mix that we have, and it's just iced over completely. Earlier, I was able to actually dig into some of this, and you could kind of pick up some of that snow, but I mean, that is hard as a rock. That is pure ice, and that is exactly what you're going to find on all the roads around Springfield this evening. So if you do have to travel tonight, just take it very slow, allow plenty of extra time. You got to watch the side roads, of course. Those have iced over several hours ago. Bridges and overpasses were already getting slick by the noon hour, and even the driveways and even just walking to and from your house, you got to be very careful overnight tonight. MoDOT has been out. We've seen the crews out all day long, but because temperatures are dropping very quickly now, we've lost any little bit of heating that we had from the sun earlier, and so things are really going to be going downhill overnight and it's probably going to be very slippery again tomorrow morning so we just got to allow again plenty of extra time and uh, better yet just stay inside this evening it is very cold out here back to you okay matt jones for us there thanks matt to bolivar now where raquel harrington has been all day raquel how's the weather there Lisa, here in Bolivar, the weather is doing pretty good, but throughout the day, you can see the weather was fluctuating. But I'm here at the MoDOT actual Bolivar brand, and they're actually, they finished up filling the saw trucks, but they're going to get those going in just a little bit. I'll let you take a look at that. And throughout the day, they've been on the go nonstop, just like the weather. They had... It started with sleet at first, and then it went to freezing rain, and then it was a sleet freezing rain mix, which caused the roads to become very slick. So when you are driving, be sure to be very careful. MoDOT has been on the go all day, making sure that they take care of those roads for your evening commute. MoDOT's Bolivar Maintenance Supervisor, Scott Noblet says they're treating the roads and staying on top of them. And it's been nonstop, you know, since we got here basically this morning. So. We're putting a lot of treatment down on the road, so we've got a lot of salt, sand, and we're even putting some aggregate down, too, for traction on this sleet that has developed, so. So while they're keeping those roads safe, we want you and MoDOT officials want you to stay safe on your evening commutes. And remember that bridges and overpasses tend to freeze first. So be careful, and I'll be sure to be careful on my commute home this evening as well. Reporting live in Bolivar, I'm Raquel Harrington. Freezing rain and sleet also hitting Branson now. This is a live look at the Highway 76 strip. Katie Purseau continues our live team coverage with how travel is in B-Town. Katie? Right, Steve, I am here along Branson Hills Parkway. You can see traffic uh, moving along uh, pretty well. There's not a whole lot of cars out, which is probably a good idea, but the road here, not too slick. But again, this is a main road here in Branson. Now, as far as what's falling out of the sky, it's just a very, very light freezing rain, just enough to kind of make things nasty out here tonight. But this wintry mix has been coming down uh, most of the day. It started probably at about 8 o'clock, maybe during my drive into town and it was really on and off throughout the day. Now it did stick on some surfaces, icicles formed on signs and cars and likely on side roads and also bridges and overpasses. Now I talked with crews who work to keep parking lots and sidewalks clear here in Branson and they say most of the day it was a waiting game, watching for the rain to freeze on the ground and treating accordingly. Now that was tricky given the wet roads and that could wash away some of that work. Meantime though, local stores are stocked up on things like de-icer and ice melt. But this winter, there really hasn't been a lot of that required, at least here in this specific part of Southwest Missouri. And most locals aren't complaining. Branson's been lucky. We've, we've been really lucky this year. Uh, we've, it's, but I'm waiting for the bottom to fall out any day now. Not complaining on the personal side, but we could uh, sell some of this merchandise too. <laughs> Now, I will tell you that the MoDOT map shows that these roads around here in Branson uh, 65 as well are mostly clear, but that doesn't mean there could still be some slick spots again. Those side roads, overpasses, just areas uh, that are elevated could have some ice on them tonight in this Branson area. Reporting live in Branson, I'm Katie Brusso. And a reminder that you can track the weather wherever you are at any time or day or night on our Storm Team apps and websites. You'll find our hour by hour forecast for your area, also live radar and our road condition maps. And uh, we'd like to show you uh, our pictures of winter weather. This one sent to uh, Barbara Wa from Barbara Wallen of El Dorado Springs. You can put those on our Storm Team app and also we'll have more news of the day when we come back.
number one in the Ozarks. You're watching KY3 News at 6 with Lisa Rose, Steve Grant, Storm Team Meteorologist Ron Hurst, and Sports with Chad Klein. The place to be on air, online, on the go. Or you can eat lunch buffet Monday through Friday at Buffalo Run Casino Resort. New fresh items every day and delicious desserts, only $8.99. All Players Club members receive $2 off. Buffalo Run Casino Resort, Miami, Oklahoma. Good folks, great food, big fun. Is fast, reliable internet just not available where you live? No. They keep saying, oh, maybe we'll get out there someday. Well, with new super fast internet plans from Viasat, someday is today. Good. Because we tried getting by with just a cell phone, but the service is terrible. And DSL, please. Well, Viasat is available out here right now. In fact, if you can see us, you can get Viasat today. Yes, you can get better internet. Available right now from Viasat. Call now to get free installation, usually within three days. If you're outside the cable zone or stuck with old, slow DSL, now you can upgrade to better, faster internet from Viasat. Sounds great, but how do I get it? Oh, it's easy. Just call today to get Viasat internet in your home. Viasat internet is available almost anywhere, and you can get it right now. With super fast speeds, Viasat is great for your whole family. Call now to learn more or go to getviasat.com to find your local dealer. Thank you. I'll keep you updated. Like it never happened. Like it never happened. Like it never happened. Like it never happened. Wow. It's like it never happened. When you've had a bad car day. Bring your car to Dotson Williams. We'll make it like, like it, it never, never happened. happened. Prime Rib Buffet, Tuesday and Wednesdays at Buffalo Run Casino and Resort. Hand carved prime rib with all the sides and desserts for only $17.99. All Players Club members receive $2 off. Buffalo Run Casino and Resort, Miami, Oklahoma. Good folks, great food, big fun. Live closed captioning is sponsored by AutoInjury.com and the law offices of Aaron Sachs and Associates. Committed to community service. Also making news tonight, Republic Police need your help finding a shoplifter who helped himself to two new chainsaws at the Orshland Farm and Home. Republic Police say he walked out with the two saws valued at $400 apiece. If you recognize him, call Republic PD. The parents of two people killed in Old Ozark's boat crash last May have filed a lawsuit now against the boat's operator. The lawsuit alleges the driver of the boat was drunk when it slammed into a rock bluff in the dark killed Joseph Lamarck and Haley Hutchendale, both from Kansas. Overhauling Missouri's Medicaid system could save $1 billion over the next four years. That's the bottom line of a study to control escalating costs done by consultants for state officials. It calls for moving more people to home care services instead of in nursing homes and hospitals and changes reimbursement rates. The recommendations do not tighten eligibility, but some Missouri lawmakers are looking at a separate plan to require Medicaid recipients to work as Arkansas does. Well, the recent spike in flu cases across the Ozarks is leading to restrictions on visitors at area hospitals. At Mercy, visitors younger than 14 years old are not allowed now on the pediatric floor. And at Citizens Memorial Hospital in Bolivar, kids under the age of 14 are prohibited in the labor and delivery department. CMH's infection prevention coordinator has the reason for this. So since we have had such a high number of cases in that younger population, you know, we want to avoid the um, siblings visiting the new babies and the babies who don't have immunity. So protecting that, that vulnerable population. If the number of flu cases continue to increase, the restrictions could expand to the entire hospital. Winter weather pays another visit to the Ozarks, I'd say. Snow <laughs> falling to the east of Springfield, according to our radar. And Ray Brown sent us this picture from the Lake of the Ozarks, where it's uh, five inches deep in snow on his back porch. Ron is next with how much more could fall and if we'll get some ice as well. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, Slumberland's President's 3-Day Doorbuster Sale. You'll get up to 70% off. 
Get this reclining sofa for just $3.95 while they last, or this queen bed for just $2.99. And there's lots more. Plus, get a bonus 25% off on advertised items. But hurry, quantities are limited. Pay no interest for four years. The President's three-day sale at Slumberland. It's a good life. Don't miss all of the action at Kansas Crossing Casino, just south of Pittsburgh, Kansas. It's all about the Benjamins on Saturday, March 2nd at 11 p.m. Ten people will be selected. Nine will win $1,000 in free play, and one will win the grand prize, $19,000 in cash. Earn entries in the month of February by playing your favorite slots and table games. See KansasCrossingCasino.com for latest events and promotional details. Casey's General Stores will be raising money to support Children's Miracle Network Hospitals at Cox Health. Don't forget to donate your change by rounding up. Thank you for helping kids like me. Join the circle of life at the Lion King. We're in, we're out, we're back on the road. Let's go. Okay. Here we go. Pick them okay. up, put them down. Get them in there, get a snack, go to the bathroom. Feet. Everybody goes to the bathroom. Center, Just make feet. sure the cat goes okay. to the bathroom. We are not stopping anywhere else. We used to go to the bathroom. Wait, okay. Who's that guy? When do we pick him up? All right. Weather on KY3 News at 6 is sponsored by Aaron Sachs and Associates. And now, your KY3 Storm Team forecast. Well, good evening. Winter weather continues to fall across the Ozarks this evening. A lot of what you see here, especially in these northern counties, is coming down in the form of snow. However, right along Highway 60, still getting some reports of sleet, and there is some freezing rain happening down here in far southern Missouri with maybe a little bit of rain or drizzle occurring in northern Arkansas. Now, a couple of things about all of this. One, because, this, I mean, it was daytime, we had some solar insulation coming in, and that certainly helped matters. But now that the sun has set, you know, the stuff was coming down and kind of melting a little bit in some spots. It's going to refreeze and it could become very slick and hazardous. And where we're getting some moderate snow in some of these northeastern counties, it is also going to pile up at a little faster rate than what it did earlier today. So we're going to notice those accumulations go up just a bit, too. It's also beginning to taper off out here to the west, and certainly that's good news. But don't be surprised if there's a little bit of freezing drizzle behind this main area of moisture. Lots of roads in here, including 32, 54. Highway 38, 63, I-44 are all going to get snow and ice covered tonight. If they're not already, you'll have to slow it down. Give yourself loads of extra time to get to your destination. Of course, give everybody around you plenty of extra room. Now, most of the roads are treated, but again, side roads, as Matt was telling you earlier, neighborhood streets, your county road, things like that are going to become pretty treacherous as the night goes along. This is, disturbance has been moving very slowly from west to east. That will continue through the evening. And again, on the back side of this, out it here there is some light freezing drizzle being reported so even though the main area of moisture will come to an end we will still get a glaze of ice on top of everything else winter weather advisories remain in effect for some places until midnight tonight the bottom line is we'll have to slow it down now futurecast has done a good job in catching all of this by eight o'clock we still have some snow in some of these eastern counties maybe a little icing occurring down here along the missouri arkansas line and the same thing for the icing with the snow now that the sun has gone down we will notice this accumulate and those roads will be hazardous very quickly by the time we get to 10 o'clock a lot of this will be over although you can still see some spotty activity here or there certainly by midnight it'll be all said and done by morning we'll be left with just some cloud cover but it will be very cold across the region and then most of us will have a mostly cloudy to cloudy sky on Saturday as the next storm system takes aim at the Ozarks now this is what I'm talking about notice how right in here notice how we get that cloud cover kind of bump up this is our next wave of energy around the four corners area the jet stream is going to move this eastward just like it did this present system and it will add to a little bit to what we have as far as that future cast snowfall this is going to be for Saturday evening 
again Saturday evening. So this is not what we have out there now. This is on top of what we have out there now and could be another one to three inches of snow across these same northern counties. And that'll bring your about your two day snow to fall total somewhere between five and eight inches of snow across those northern counties. So it will be very slick and hazardous for the entire weekend because we won't see much melting. What are we thinking with this? Well, there can also be a little freezing drizzle or light freezing rain on Saturday night for some of our southern counties. This is not a big event, but again, it will just add a glaze of ice to the roads out there. And again, that main area of snow will be across these northern counties. Up in Lebanon, we can already see Highway 5 out there is already snow covered. Traffic's moving on it, but again, you'll have to be careful. There is a little fog out there reducing visibilities. We have some freezing moisture here in the Ozarks, 25 in Springfield, humidity 85%. Our winds currently out of the northeast at 14 miles an hour. Temperatures in the morning will drop down into the mid to upper teens over most of southern Missouri, low to mid 20s in northern Arkansas. And as I said, we probably won't see a whole lot of warming tomorrow, getting those high temperatures only in the mid to upper 30s. Your wind chill Saturday morning if you head out early, they're going to be in the single digits, so we'll have to continue to bundle up. Our forecast then for tonight looks like this. That winter weather will eventually come to an end. 18 to 25 are expected temperatures with a northeasterly wind. Tomorrow it's a mostly cloudy to cloudy day, about 35 in Springfield, 37 in Harrison. Our wind starting to come around to the east. Again, Saturday evening, a little more winter weather. Sunday and Monday we get a little bit of a break. But Lisa and Steve, Tuesday and Wednesday we are looking at more <laughs> ice and more snow oh, for the Ozarks. Here it comes again. All right, straight ahead, Dana Ford and the Bears prepare to face Loyola on the road. And the Lady Bears go for a 14th straight win tonight. We'll preview their game against Illinois State after this. Four days only at Ashley Home Store's President's Day Sale. Save up to 25% off, plus pay no interest for 12 months. Huge savings on doorbuster deals like this stylish sofa. Only $249 ends Monday at Ashley Home Store. This is home. Her life tragically taken. A murder trial watched by the nation. Now, five years later, KY3 and KSPR News reflect on the life and death of Springfield's Haley Owens. The lasting impact on our community. A special report, Monday at 10. We're rolling out amazing new deals at HalfPriceOzarks.com. Today's special, get 10 bucks for $20 worth of walk-in Wednesday cookies from the rolling pin. Only at HalfPriceOzarks.com. I'm Cheryl with Derma Health. And I'm Linda with the Child Advocacy Center. Did you know that last year the CAC served more than 1,600 victims of abuse? That's right, Cheryl. Children served have endured much in their young lives, including abuse and neglect, along with other exploitations no child should ever experience. Your support of the CAC helps them put the needs of the child first in the investigation of abuse. For more information, visit childadvocacycenter.org. Our children, our future, from KY3. She has the drive, but there are still big hurdles ahead. At Junior Achievement, we're helping her overcome them by teaching her major life skills, like setting a budget and starting her career, so she's ready for what's ahead and can achieve 100% bigger dreams, like going from running races to running companies. Junior Achievement, 100 years, 100% ready. Four days only at Ashley Home Store's President's Day Sale. Pay 0% interest for six years with no minimum purchase. This upholstered queen bed is less than $10 per month. Four days only at Ashley Home Store. This is home. Get winter ready with KY3 Storm Team coverage. Sports with Mark Spillane starts now. Hey there, good evening everyone. The Missouri State Lady Bears return to action tonight. They'll put their 13 game winning streak on the line at home at home versus Illinois State. And the winning streak is the third longest active streak in the nation. Perhaps the most impressive part, the Lady Bears have won all 13 games by double digits. Tonight is also the annual play for K game. Proceeds from a jersey auction will go to benefit the K Yao Cancer Fund. Yao died of cancer in 2009 after winning more than 700 games as a college head coach. The Bears are also back in action this weekend. Missouri State will face Loyola Chicago on the road this Sunday. MSU has won six of its last seven conference games. Valley newcomers like Tulio Da Silva continue to play well for the Bears. Dana Ford says it might be a good thing that some of his players have never been through a Valley season. They're new to it, so that's a good thing because they don't really know what to expect. 
Like, for example, that they don't know that Evansville's a tough place to play. You know, they've never played there. They just figure, hey, we'll just go in there and win, right? I don't think, you know, going to Loyola is going to be that big of a deal to Tule. I don't even think he thinks, you know, that we're going to Loyola. He just thinks it's another game, which is good. Opening day did not go as planned for the Bears baseball team. Missouri State falls to Nevada 16-4 in today's season opener. The Wolfpack hit four home runs in the game. The loss snaps a six-year opening day winning streak for Missouri State. The Bears are back at it tomorrow versus Utah. Now we're entering a very busy weekend for local sports, so make sure to follow along at OzarkSportsZone.com. The state wrestling championship meet is in full swing right here on the main page. We have a full update it as we go recap of what's going on right now at Mizzou Arena. As of last check, the Lebanon girls team just three points out of first place with three wrestlers in the final. And on the ice, the Blues are in the midst of their longest winning streak in 16 years. St. Louis has won eight games in a row after a 4-0 victory over the Coyotes last night. Vladimir Tarasenko has scored eight goals during the winning streak. After the latest win, he said the Blues are committed to playing hard for each other. I think uh, relationships inside the team. I think the way uh, everybody treats each other now, right now, playing for each other, you can see in the games, like whoever get like something, the people step up for him every time. Blues are playing well, like playing for each other. That's important. <laughs> it sure is. Back in a moment. February 22nd, it begins. Dolly Parton's Stampede, a spectacular journey into America's past. Come along for the ride. Call now or reserve online. We believe in the simple ways. We believe in traditions and family. We believe in getting things done. And enjoying what we do. We believe in the quality of Kubota. The quality only Kubota offers. We are Quarles Kubota in Bolivar, Missouri. In the Ozarks, weather changes hour by hour. Dangerous storms, flash flooding, snow, even tornadoes. It's why your KY3 storm team, with more than six decades of combined experience, is committed to keeping your family safe. With Storm Tracker 3 Doppler radar pinpointing storms down to your street, Futurecast showing you the hour rain will arrive, and online quick casts updated three times a day, giving your neighborhood a chance to prepare for what's next. It's another reason why KY3 is the place to be. Hey drivers, I'm Mr. Walker. I'm the guy working day in and day out to remind you to watch out for walkers. Springfield's a pretty friendly town, but lately it's been less friendly to all my friends. On average, 60 pedestrians are struck on Springfield streets per year. That's more than once a week. Pay attention and actively watch for crosswalks, especially when turning left or right. And remember, be kind and yield to folks on foot. February 22nd, we're turning up the heat at Dolly Parton's Stampede. We're ready with all the thrills, skills, and our fabulous four-course feast. Call now or reserve online. KY3 Stocks of Local Interest are brought to you by Our Best Bank. All right. But, yeah, the winter weather continues to fall across the Ozarks. Here's the latest radar picture. Again, now the sun is set. What was wet earlier will refreeze, so be very mm -hmm. careful there. Mm -hmm. And that snow will pile up at a little faster rate along with that freezing rain. So be very careful if you have to travel this evening. Melted by Sunday? I doubt it. I think oh. we're going to have some of that around in our northern counties. All right. See you tonight. Find huge savings now through Sunday during the Nards Crazy Day Sale. Get a gallon of Dutch Boy Forever interior flat paint for $15.98 after sale price and rebate. 33.9 ounces of Folgers ground coffee is just $4.99. A pair of these copper care grip socks is free after rebate. Get a two-pack of Sylvania LED flood bulbs for $9.79 and get a second one free. These deals are so crazy, they're available in-store only while supplies last. So hurry in to save big during the Nards Crazy Day Sale. Save big money at the Hi there, I'm Lisa Rose, inviting you to join me on a land and cruise tour of Alaska, July 20th to August 1st. Visit the Iditarod Trail Headquarters. Try panning for gold at the historic Gold Dredge 8. 
and set sail with me aboard the Riverboat Discovery Sternwheeler. We'll also cruise on Holland America Line's MS Volodom for four nights, including breathtaking Glacier Bay. All airfare and hotels are included. For a free brochure, call Holiday Vacations at 1-800-826-2266. Usher in spring in style at the 29th Annual Springfield Lawn and Garden Show, February 22nd through the 24th at the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds. Visit more than 100 exhibitors with one-stop suggestions for all your lawn and garden needs, plus appearances by the Peterson Farm.